Hello, YouTube. I'm going to show you how to... Actually, let's just roll the tape. <laughs> hey, it worked. I have an automatic ping pong ball server next to me, and I set it up so people can use a command oh, to set it off, and it shoots a ping pong ball at me. That's cool. <laughs> like this. <laughs> That hit me in the cheek. Okay, so I've had a few people ask me how I do this. So I wanted to make a video about it. Before we continue though, I just want to say I am a total noob with electronics. We're only dealing with a few AA batteries, so it's not anything crazy that's going to shock you. But if you have no idea what you're doing with this, then don't try this at home. Here's what you're going to need. Streamer bot. A ping pong ball launcher. Some wires. Electrical tape a relay switch, and a Raspberry Pi. Now I've been told that a Raspberry Pi is kind of overkill for this. So you might be able to use like an Arduino or something like that. As long as it connects to the internet and it can run a Python script, then it should probably work just fine. I have Amazon links for most of the stuff I use in the video. So if you want to check it out or whatever, there's a shortage of Raspberry Pis right now. So sorry about that. First thing you're going to do is set up your Raspberry Pi and make sure you have a program that can run Python on it. Once you have your Raspberry Pi set up, go to the GitHub link in the video description and copy the StreamerBot import code. Then you'll import it into StreamerBot. Double check that you have one action and one command and hit import. Then go to the action, find the execute code sub action, edit the sub action, and this is where you will edit the C sharp code. First, click the compile button to make sure that it compiles. If it doesn't and you see some errors, then you're going to need to add some references. Go to the settings tab in StreamerBot. Go to the C-Sharp compiler, right-click and add references. Here is a list of all the references that you're going to need to add. I'm still a noob at C-Sharp, so you may not technically need all these references, but I know that it does work if you have them all. So just add them just in case. All right, once they're all added, go back in and edit the sub-action, and you're going to Compile and make sure that the code compiles. If it says compiled successfully, then you're good to go on that part. The last thing you need to do before closing is update the IP address to the IP address of your device, your Raspberry Pi. In my case, mine is 36. Compile, it's good, save and compile. Then you'll want to go into the action hotkey and set a hotkey for that action. Search for ping pong. There we go. And now every time that I press control F8, it should trigger that action. We'll trigger that in a minute. Next, copy the Python code from the GitHub library. Put that code into the program that runs Python on your Raspberry Pi. Save it and hit run and make sure it's all good. If you get an error, you might have to install the GPIO or socket library. There's tons of resources out there on how to do that. So just Google it and you should be able to figure it out. Okay, go back to StreamerBot. And when you hit your hotkey to run the action, you should see that there was a message received in the Python output window. Next, you'll shut off your Raspberry Pi. You'll need to take the wires and connect them to the board and the relay. Choose a red wire and connect it to pin number four on the board. That red wire gets connected to the VOC connection on the relay. Then take a black wire. You'll connect that to pin number nine on the board and that will go over to the ground pin on the relay. Then take another wire, orange in our case, you'll connect that to pin number seven on the board, which will then connect to IN2 or IN2 on the relay. 
Then you'll need to take some wires and connect the two different lines at the top ports of the relay shown here and here. This is what mine looked like when I connected everything. You can see the wires here, here's the relay, and you can see how those wires got connected to the relay on that side. Here are the two wires I mentioned that will be sticking out of the relay that connected at the top in my diagram. Okay, now for the fun part. You're gonna take a AA battery and then two wires from your wire kit. Now, I had to take the plastic black jackets off of the ends of the wires so that it could fit a little bit better. Um, but after you take those off, then you can take some pliers and flatten down the wire a little bit so that it can fit kind of snug against the battery. You're gonna have one end of the wire touching the end of the battery, but covered in electrical tape in a way that it won't let the launcher turn on. If you want, you can add like a little bit of paper or something that doesn't conduct electricity to the tape. And that way you can make sure it doesn't make a connection. Then go ahead and grab the other wire. Again, I took the black jackets off of this, flattened down the wire. And this wire is going to go up against the spring inside the mechanism. Now, I'm showing you an example from a little lantern because I didn't want to take apart the ping pong launcher and displace anything. But you just want to kind of put it in there so it has contact with the spring and then fit the battery with electrical tape up against that spring so it's nice and snug. Now let me show you what this lantern looks like when it's all connected with batteries like normal. It turns on when you pull it out. This one, it doesn't turn on yet because there's no electrical connection there until you touch the wires together. Then the current runs through and it turns on the light. To test everything is good on the launcher, you go ahead and turn it on and make sure it doesn't start up yet. That means that the wires are good. Then take another wire and connect the two ends. Once it's connected, then it should start shooting those ping pong balls out. See right there, there we go. Next, unhook the wires that are connected to the ping pong launcher. So it stops shooting. And you'll take each wire from that ping pong launcher and connect it to the wires that are coming out of the relay ports. You can see here that the launcher is on, but it isn't running and it won't until the relay here makes the connection. When you run the Python code, it will make sure that the relay is turned off and not completing the circuit until StreamerBot sends that message. Then what it does is it will connect the circuit for the amount of time listed in the Python code. I found that 2.1 seconds was a good time for it to only launch one ball at a time. Last thing you need to do is just enable the command in StreamerBot and then you're good to go. Your chat can now activate it in your stream and then you can add sounds or whatever else you want in StreamerBot. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it down in the comments or you can join the Ghost Gang Discord and I'd be happy to help there. If you want to see this in action, I stream late on Fridays and Saturdays, so feel free to subscribe and then you can get notified when I go live. Thanks for watching. Peace.